Rita. Sorry about my background. We're trying to figure out what color of paint we're going to paint this room. So ignore that. <laughs> Anyways, and if you hear the um, air purifier, it's just because we sampled some paint and we want the smell to go away. So sorry about the outside noise and the paint on the wall. But anyways, I'm doing my weekly haul for you guys. I shopped at Ralph's. I used very little coupons this time around. I just did digital deals and the promotions they had in the store, but I still feel like I got a really good deal. I'm going to show you guys what I got. I filmed it a little bit earlier as soon as I got home from groceries. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you guys my savings. So enjoy the haul. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Everyday Rita. So this is my Ralph's grocery haul. Uh, it's not too much of a couponing haul because I didn't really use a lot of coupons. But I still did get a really good deal off of like digital deals and just promotions going on at the store. So let's just go ahead and go through it. So I got turkey, like deli turkey, sliced cheese, more Activia yogurt, um, English muffins. The English muffins were buy one get one free so that was a really good deal. And then some popcorn seasoning because I like to do just plain like air popped popcorn and this is the only thing that gives it some flavor so uh, I do that string cheese uh, salting crackers I only use these when I make meatloaf and um, so that's all you really get those for these are for my husband because it's his birthday and the gifts just keep on coming <laughs> mushrooms mixed veggies these ones are for like 88 cents a really good price there I got these Smart and Crunchy fish sticks. Robert really likes fish sticks, and we haven't had them in a really, really long time, so I figured we'll try it out. Plus, it was part of a digital coupon that I had. I got beef tenderloin. So, a good tip to um, know when you're like at the grocery store and you want to save some money is look at the promotions they have. So, all the pork products were 50% off. Not because they were going bad, it's just the promotion they had. So, this whole pork tenderloin was only six bucks, and it's like a pound and a half I believe it is yeah it's about a pound and a half so I mean that's gonna feed me and Robert for sure for at least one whole meal with some leftovers and then um, same thing here really good promotion on chicken uh, thighs chicken drumsticks and a lot of the chicken products they were 88 cents a pound so I only paid three dollars and 89 cents for this whole thing and it's what's the poundage 4.42 pounds so, super good deal there. Eggs. I like to get these when they're um, marked down, the holy guacamole ones, because they're good to just freeze. And then any time that we just need guacamole, we just defrost it, so it's really good. I got these ones. I eat these for breakfast. I eat them with the English muffins. And then um, salmon. Oh, the salmon. And then this Sea Cuisine one. I got this one because I had a dollar off coupon, plus it was part of a promotion I'll tell you about right now. And then the lean cuisines. I just get these as backups when I forget to make lunch for us or I don't have time to make our lunches, then we just take these. So these are only backups. We don't resort to these right away. So the digital coupon I had was $5 off any seafood. So this plus this plus this. Oh, $5 off $15 worth of seafood. So I got 5 bucks off that, which pretty much made this free. And then um, also I had a $3 off purchase, like of your entire purchase when you spent $45 or more. So um, that is my whole grocery haul. Again, you don't see too many like things for meals like rice or little side dishes because I still have all that in my freezer or pantry or refrigerator. So I'll give you guys the breakdown once I figure that out. Hey everyone, so I hope you guys enjoyed that haul. The only thing I did forget to show you guys in there was my Weight Washers ice cream because I had thrown that in the freezer right away since those melt kind of quickly and it is really hot today. So that's the only thing that was not shown in that haul. So for everything, I'm just going to go over savings with you guys. So for everything, um, before coupons, before digital deals, before any of those store promotions, my total would have been about $111. Um, let's just say 110 to keep it, you know, even, but it was about $111. And then I had a $5 off $15 seafood, um, coupon, digital coupon that I loaded onto my Ralph's card. And then I also had $3 off your $45 purchase, um, which was also a digital deal. Those two coupons, you guys, you can always get on, um, every week they have different ones. They're on the Ralph's Facebook page. So if you go to the Ralph's Facebook page and go to like exclusive coupons, I believe that's like the tab, 
you click it there and then you load them onto your card. So you do have to have a Kroger or Ralph's um, account. So do that and then that way you can get those coupons. And every week there's different ones. There's like $5 off $15 fresh produce, $5 off $15 of meat. So they, they switch it up every single week. So this week happens to be $5 off $15 of um, seafood frozen or fresh. I usually just do frozen ones because the fresh seafood is really expensive and honestly most of the time the seafood that is fresh is actually pre-frozen so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Unless it does say like fresh, like you know fresh caught or something like that then it might not be frozen but most of the time a lot of seafood is pretty much pre-frozen. So anyways I had those two coupons and then they still have their mega deal going on the buy four save four dollars. That one, um, I only did like four items, so I only did that deal one time in this whole transaction. I had one coupon for the popcorn seasoning, and I had one coupon for the sea cuisine, and then that was it. Those are the only two coupons I used. So after everything, you know, my total would have been $111 after the digital deals, the promotions going on. It dropped me down all the way, you guys, to 65 bucks, and that's including tax. So the 111 was not including tax, so probably like, you know, a little bit more than that. Um, but the $65 was uh, that I paid was including tax, so that was uh, $46 savings. So $46 on groceries, I think that's really good just to save a load, and that was hardly any coupons used. So it can be done. I know for a fact if I wasn't being um, cautious about the digital deals or any promotions going on at the store, I would have walked away paying that $111 easily because I've done it before, and I'm pretty sure you guys have done it before too. So make sure you guys see the promotions, and I, I hope you guys enjoy this haul once again. Please like this video, subscribe, and comment down below.